Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to share with you another Flix and Lit video. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about A Simple Favor by Darcy Bell. So for those of you that have seen my January wrap-up, you know that I didn't really care for the book. It was a two-star read for me. Um, it is about two women who are friends and their children are friends. And um, one day one of them asks the other to pick up their child from school and then she goes missing and then the story kind of goes from there. I just didn't jive with the book at all and so I went into the movie with a lot of <laughs> skepticism um, but it turns out that the movie fixed all of the problems that I had with the book. To start with the movie made the character of Stephanie way more likable. Um, Stephanie is played by Anna Kendrick who I think most people enjoy and like. I know I do. Um, and she definitely brought something else to the character. This kind of, um, she was she was naive like the Stephanie from the book, but she was also a little bit fierce. Um, and I kind of liked that. I liked that they changed um, her so that she wasn't such the such a like gullible idiot <laughs> like she was in the book and then they kind of did the same with Emily. Um, Emily is played by Blake Lively and I thought that she did a fantastic job as the character of Emily. Um, Emily is also very um, kind of feisty um, and funny and Blake Lively definitely brought that to the character in the movie. I think overall the best thing that the movie did was they took the story and brought humor to the story. It was almost as if it was poking fun at thriller type movies and almost like it was kind of being satirical, which the book was not doing. The book, I think, was trying to be serious and it was just ridiculous. Whereas the movie, they were definitely, they definitely brought like a lighter tone to the whole story. Um, especially, and I won't say anything spoilery here, but there is a there is the secret that Stephanie carries with her that in the book is a very dark and serious type of thing and they definitely made it humorous in the movie um, and kind of made light of this deep dark secret that Stephanie carries. They also did change the ending in the movie and I felt that the ending of the movie was better um, because it just felt more complete. The ending was was bad in the book. I didn't like it. Um, there were just things about the ending in the book that just did not make sense to me, did not seem like they could really happen, and the, the changes that they made to the ending in the movie definitely made it more of a likable ending um, and more of a satisfying conclusion. So overall I would say skip the book, a simple favor. Skip the book, but if you are looking for a kind of lighthearted, almost funny thriller, which I know is kind of weird um, because thrillers tend to take themselves very seriously. But in this case, like I said, I think I laughed a lot <laughs> when I was watching this movie. Um, especially the way that Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively worked off of each other. It was really good. It was funny. It was good. Um, so I would say definitely watch the movie if you are in the mood for something like that, but just skip the book entirely because the book isn't going to do anything for you. Um, like I said, they there were a lot of problems with the book and I felt like the movie fixed them all um, and the changes that they made definitely just benefited the story and made it more of a likable story. So yeah, those are my thoughts on A Simple Favor by Darcy Bell. Um, please let me know down below if you have watched the movie and what your thoughts were. If you've um, watched the movie and read the book, like what kinds of things did you find, differences and similarities, what did you like and what didn't you like. Um, I would love to have a chat with all of you. Um, obviously, if you haven't seen the movie or read the book and you don't want to be spoiled, maybe try to stay out of the comment section just in case there's spoilers. Um, I don't want anything to get spoiled for anybody, so just, you know beware of the comments, I guess. <laughs> but other than that, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week, and I will talk to you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.